That sounded fantastic. What are you drinking? Um, I don't know. It's called uh, Black Velvet. You know what that consists of? Yes. Do you want to take a guess? Yes. Go. Yeah. Um, black Kool-Aid. Champagne and Kool-Aid. Well, that, that, would, that sounds pretty good, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, would, I would drink that. Yes, you would. It doesn't, it doesn't sound bad. Champagne anyway, and Kool-Aid. Anyway, it's, it's Guinness and Champagne. Guinness and Champagne and Kool-Aid. I was trying to impress you and be like, hey, check out this cool two-tone drink thing that I got going on. But instead, it's just all black. I did, I did it wrong. I don't know what I did wrong, but... So, like, instead of a black and tan, you just give me the Mexican? Yeah. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> anyway. What's going on, man? Oh, you know. It's been a while, Steve. I'm sorry. It has been a while. What's been going on? Anything drastic happen? Well... In, in the world? Lots. Um, see, my in-laws, oh. they, have a, they have a dog like your dog. Like a Yorkie? A, like, yeah, a Yorkie. You, you've met her before once a long time ago. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're <laughs> having the greatest technical, the technical look today, dude. Um, Don't worry about it. She passed away a couple of days ago. The Yorkie did? Yeah. She was just old, man. Like, how old was she? Uh, like three. No, I just... <laughs> <laughs> uh, like th- 13, I think. Or it was like, like a mercy kill. 13 or 14, something like that. She was kind of old. So is that why you are trying to make love to my dog yeah. earlier? Yeah. I was like, what's up? Come here. Come here, Sophie. <laughs> <laughs> He's, he's sick. <laughs> you're like a sicko. But yeah, so what do you... Th- uh, the, ele- the elephant in the room. What... Wait a minute. I haven't gained that much weight. It's only been a month. Yeah, I feel like it's been longer. It's been like a year. Well, not that long. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if I can not do that again, my friend. That's all right, dude. Um, what else? Oh, my wife uh, got into an accident. What kind? The like a, a, a physical altercation or a, a verbal Probably a verbal. vehicular altercation. Really? Yeah, she was driving to Houston a couple weeks ago. So what's with you in Houston? Like, y'all have like a, a thing? What are you talking about? Because you've, you've, your trips to Houston always involve some sort of like drama. I know, right? I wasn't going this time, so it wasn't not me, man. <laughs> so the common denominator? You didn't say not it. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't say it. Um, so she was she was going to Houston and she got uh, over there by um, like sixteen oh four and uh, I don't know Judson High School like over there you know like like thirty five right no sixteen oh four and like Randolph Air Force Base over there oh I don't know like Boysville 
What? What? Anyway, so she you mean was, Boys Town? No. Have you been to Boys Town? No. Have you heard of it? Yeah. So, Where is that? Uh, exactly. No, I don't know. <laughs> I was thinking Where is of, that exactly. I was thinking of taking the podcast out on the road. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> um, nah, but she was stopped at a stoplight and she got rear-ended. By, she was the front donkey. She was the front car in a four-car pileup. <laughs> Wait, in your nice car? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. In this one that you have right now? Uh-huh, yeah. That's the one. So you're not driving it all cool anymore? <laughs> you're all um, little baby. But the cool thing baby is, is that, uh, you know, in Texas, if you get rear-ended, it's not your fault. But yeah. But it wasn't her fault? I don't think so. I mean, she was stopped at a stoplight, and there was traffic backed up in front of her, so she couldn't go anywhere anyway. So the light turned green, and she got hit by three cars. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, they all three had different insurances, so they're all pointing the finger at each other. So nobody wants to fix my car. So we just went to our insurance company. It was like, you fix it and fucking go chase them down and get that money back. Isn't that what they're there for? Yeah, that's what you would think. They were like, "Um, I mean, I guess we could do that, but like, you still have to pay your deductible. (laughs) We'll, we'll try and get that back for you, but uh, you're still going to pay your deductible. And I don't know if they're going to give us a car or not, like a rental car. I'm not sure. I got to go talk to them because I don't know what the fuck is going on. And <clears throat> I took it to uh, I took it to the dealer, right? Because I'm like, I'm not fucking paying for it. Let's go to the dealer. And I was like, hey, y'all, do y'all fix car? Like, y'all do body work? And he was like, nah. I'm like, what? Where, where do I take it? Why would they do it? I don't fucking know. No, I mean, well, I was like, where do you take it? I mean, like, where do I take it? And they were like, oh, way the fuck over there on the other side of town. I'm like, Calvert. oh, cool. Um, I don't think, no, it's Jimmy Cavender. Because Landover here is a Cavender company. So he, I guess he has his own body shop. It's over on like um, 1604 and 281. You're Stone. a gangster, Steve. Yeah, I'm a gangster. But they're not even going to, I don't even take it to him until the 19th of next month. December? Yeah. It's crazy. That's so the day I was going to say like, wait, so who's driving next week? I'll drive. Because I'll be rolling around in that fucking hoopty. <laughs> <laughs> Hoop de loop. No yeah, so I don't, I don't take it to, I don't take it to drop it off to get fixed until the day after I get back from New York again. Are you going to New York again? Yeah. And you're going to go to Red Bank again, too. Well, tell Walt he he's he looks, he looks a little... I've been watching the episodes. Uh-huh. And he just seems like he's thinks he's better than anybody. Huh? No? Like, when, I mean, just anybody that talks about comics. Like, he knows more than anybody oh. else. Well, he's always been like that, I guess. To hear Kevin tell it. That's how they met. His, he was like... Fucking, why are you talking to me, loser? And then Kevin was like, I want to be your friend. Oh, really? Uh-huh. <laughs> and then Walt was like, here, read this comic book and tell me what you think of it. And then we'll decide, I'll decide if we're going to be friends. <laughs> That's the way it was like that? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so then it's not just me. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's everybody. But it's only with comic books. Yeah, because if anything else. Yeah, we think, I mean, he doesn't even like doing his own podcast. Like, again, he doesn't, you know, like, it's not exciting. He doesn't seem lively, though. like. He's nice, though. I mean, he's a nice guy. Um, so, is this where you tell me, like, like we can go with you? Or You said that you said you were going to go check it out first, and then on your second trip, you're going to be like, hey. Oh, I don't I- think I said on my second trip. I said on <clears throat> another trip. <clears throat> Which, to me, was going to take second. I was going to take my kids, but... I'm not your kid, but... Oh. You can replace me, like, two of Blaine's... I mean, one, two of me. Yeah, I was equal. Gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> and he's a fucking monster. Yes, I guess. A okay. Big guy. So, yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so I uh, remember I told you I was thinking about um, making t-shirts or Turn, whatever. Turning, chopping off your. Okay, yes. Um, well, I looked into it and I had this this uh, I talked to this t-shirt printing company or whatever. Oh yeah, you have your own business. Talk to this t-shirt printer and... Um, Explain it to me. I had him... I wanted him to make me a t-shirt so I could see what kind of quality it was or whatever so I could decide if I was just going to have this dude make my shirts or whatever. Shirts, for, shirts for what? Just anything... Just anything I want. 
wherever. Um, really, mostly the pictures that I take when I travel all over the place. You know, because we went, we went and saw. We've seen all those angels, those that right. angel of grief thing. We've seen fourteen of those or whatever. And how many are there? Like forty, and there's like forty, and we've seen like, well, there's thirty-seven or thirty-eight or something. We've seen fourteen. Um, but you know, I take pictures of those. I take pictures of all kinds of shit. Um, but. So I, I had that, I, you know, I, I told you I looked into this dude who happened to be following me on Twitter, and I, I sent him a picture of, um, I, got, I got it from your Instagram, the Finding Stacks picture, and I, was, I wanted to see what the quality was and what it would kind of cost and whatever, and uh, it's been over two months, and today he told me he put them in the mail. Two, two shirts. Well, see, so isn't it harder for them to do just... Two? Like one shirt or two shirts, like a design, isn't it easier for them to like mass produce something? It's not easier because they still just make one shirt at a time. It's right. just a lot cheaper. Like the two shirts that I had made uh, cost me fifty eight dollars. Two shirts cost you fifty eight dollars. Uh huh. Yeah. So I hope you like it when it shows up. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, while he was busy fucking off like that. I decided. I decided I would. I would do shirts, and so I made you this shirt. You made your own shirt. His is going to be a lot cooler because uh, he has a. Anyway, I don't really like the way this shirt came out, but here this is for you. That looks pretty fucking dope, dude. Well, take it out and touch it, and then you'll, you'll be like. Uh, did you Did you take it out and touch it? Yeah. <laughs> How many times? <laughs> Only three times. Wait, that's playing with it. Oh, wait. Should I feel it? That doesn't feel no, bad. Feel, feel the picture. Oh, the picture. Oh, oh, yeah. I don't really like the way that feels. Right? No, yeah. It feels yeah. like I, I, did oh, it my, I can do it on my backyard. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. So I bought all this crazy equipment and all this crazy shit at my house. And you didn't make your own? You didn't do your own? I have a website. I've got like yeah. I got like thirty shirts on it right now, and um. So this, this is what. Are you with me? You paying attention? No, I'm just looking. I mean, so I don't really like that one. Here. But wait, but it says finding stacks, so I love it. So this right here, this is what, this is what you're gonna get when you order it from my website at orange47shop.com. Okay. This is exactly how it's gonna look. That's the presentation and everything. Oh, you need scissors? <clears throat> well, yeah, because that's how it's going to show up in the mail. Okay. Let me see. And so I redid the shirt a little bit, so... I have to be careful. Well, I didn't want to... So that's how it's going to look when you With get it. With the orange wrapping paper? It's going to look like that. Nice. Yeah, it looks fucking nice, dude. Ooh, fucking sweet. So that's how the shirt's going to look when you order it. Now touch that. Dude, that's way better, right? Fuck yeah! I mean, I know it's not black. No, 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 no that's cool. But it, it just it won't show up black. It won't show up like that on black. It so there's the cool. small one. That's me. You're the tall one. Uh huh. All right. Well, tell that's her. cool, right? Yes, dude. Fucking love it. <laughs> so, uh, so what? Okay, so what made you think of uh, making your own shirts or wanting to make your own shirts? Um. A couple of things, really. Kevin mm. Kevin Smith is always talking about chasing whimsy, and if, if you there's right. if, if you don't see what you want, go make it. Dude, that looks that's gonna look it looks cool as shit, shit, right? I like the <laughs> color. It's like a it's like a gray green. Yeah, it's charcoal. Okay, it's charcoal. Uh, but he said, you know, like if if what you want isn't out there, make it. Yeah, do it yourself. And then. He says that all the time, but then... Dude, I was the listening. quality on that fucking mic looks fucking looks sick, good, dude. Right? And you can see my little sign in the background. I mean... Yeah. I so like it a lot. That's you, so you guys need to order their shirt. I know it's been a while, but... I'll, Any, bu I'll buy some and give away some for... Anyway, they're only, they're only 15 bucks, and that includes shipping and tax and everything. Um, but, uh, yeah, orange47shop.com. Dude, dude, that's fucking sick. And then you'll just click on uh, podcasts because, you know, that it's different categories. Right. So um, what other categories do you have on there? Uh, well, just check out your website? Yeah, just check it out. 
there's different stuff on there. And so they can there's find political you. shit on there too. Shut up, really? Yeah. Like there's some not my president shirts and there's some um, that's my boy shirts. Same picture, just different words. My boy meaning Tony Romo, cowboy. No. Okay. Uh, because I didn't want it to be political. I made both shirts. I made a shirt with Trump, like yay, and then I made a shirt with Trump, like man, fuck that guy. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. It, it, just, it, just, it just says not my president That's all But you know what Okay so I know Everybody's been talking about that shit For fucking Wait I got one more One more surprise Days um, This one I actually had made From a different company And um, It didn't Dude I really like So you made this one? I made it I made both of them the, Yeah The charcoal one? Yeah The charcoal one's way better right? Yeah 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 the charcoal one's dope I just can't make black shirts Cause it's a different kind of paper if it's a super dark shirt, then it's a different kind of paper. Uh, but you can't really see the detail anyway when it's in black. But this charcoal looks fucking pretty. It looks fucking dope, right? I, love I like it. I like it a lot. Wait, um, can I wear it right now? Do you mind if I take my shirt off? Well, and then this Wait, is, so wait, you're going to take your shirt off? Yeah. And I'm going to take my shirt off? Yeah. So it's going to be a little awkward. Yeah. Okay. Awkward. I'll wait till you go first. Not awkward for me. <laughs> <laughs> so for, had, for my, for my I kids. <laughs> I had this shirt made um, because I'm a fucking comedian and I think I'm really funny. And um, I'll, the reason I was wearing a, a, a hoodie is because your wife wouldn't think it was very funny. Why? Because it's this. Dude, that looks fucking great. That. I can't do that. The, you. <laughs> Why did. Go show Lori right now, no, please. She won't like it. No, no she'll that think that it's fucking mad, hilarious. Dude. She doesn't think I'm funny at all. No, dude. that she she'll like, think it's hilarious. No, Did cool. you see my other one where I put a spider next to me? Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. I had already sent this one out to be made, or I would have made that one. <laughs> <laughs> dude, that shirt's fucking awesome. Because you told it's just been hanging in my closet waiting for like six <laughs> weeks or whatever. <laughs> you told this story though on the last episode. Uh, we, we told that story, but. Dude, that so was, the shirt that I'm wearing right that now. That was one of the scariest moments of my life. I'm not gonna, the I'm shirt not gonna that lie. I'm wearing right now is the one where Alex was climbing on the roof, getting his ass kicked by that spider. But like from the last episode, um, it's you know usually I mean I don't get scared a lot, like easily, but because you were watching me and if I would have fallen down, you would have seen me. My own. Four-year-old son would have seen me, <laughs> and my wife would have seen me, and it was fucking hot as shit. Like it was, it was not a, a recipe for uh, something good to happen. But well, to be fair, um, if you would have fallen, then um, you would have caught me. Oh, no, the whole world would have seen it because I was recording the whole thing. <laughs> Were you really? No. Oh, I was going to say, that would no. be awesome. I did take pictures, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> but I wish I could make this quality, but you got to have all kinds of crazy, like... Wait, so you didn't make that one? I didn't make this one. I ordered it. It's a, a full color screen printing machine. So when are you going to start going a uh, higher resolution on that? Just kidding. Um, the machine to make this shirt would take up uh, a whole side of my garage. I'm, I'm not doing that. Are you serious? Yeah. So you, re- you do have a machine at your house? Yeah. It's oh, awesome. Yeah. yeah but, so um, then, what, okay, so what, can people come to you to with ideas or send you uh, their pictures of what they can, you know, their own custom kind of things? Or is it just strictly your... Really, uh, I'm not really a make your shirt kind of person. Like, the way I set the website up is just, these are what I got if you don't like it, that's cool. But um, or, or I mean, or share your ideas. Like, what do you? Th- what? Yeah, I mean, you could you could hit me up on Instagram or Twitter at Orange Forty Seven Shop, S H O P. Yeah, and um, I think there's a there's a oh, and the uh, website address. I mean, the email address is Orange Forty Seven Shop at AOL dot com. <laughs> 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 That's why I did it because it's so fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> so it's orange forty seven shop at how AOL.com. Old com. Are you? <laughs> I think I ask you that every look at my screen. Look how clean it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, of course. Oh uh, yeah. I, I've never had an AOL account, so I figured why not? Why not now? <laughs> 
I got this. It was crazy. I mean, it worked out perfectly because I got this disc in the mail. <laughs> <laughs> and I just popped it into my gateway computer. It was fucking perfect. Isn't that fantastic? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you see sweet. that? I'm keeping it. Look no, cool. Look cool. that's my son's favorite pen. Oh, Steve, Steve's favorite color is orange. I love in case you haven't orange. noticed, what? orange47shop.com. What is that? I was gonna go. I was gonna. I was trying to get orange47 just by itself. Uh, that's a Chinese company. I, I, prefer, I, I think they prefer Asian. No, it's in China. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, it's then a, it's a company in China. And if you type in orange47.com. You, there's not one single English letter on the screen. I don't know. It's just all Chinese characters. So why is it orange 47? I don't know. Oh, because of that. What's that thing called? Were they Vietnam Agent 47? What is the it? fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Wait, Agent, what's Agent 47? Agent Orange. Wait. That makes perfect sense for you. Isn't your favorite number 47? And orange is your favorite? So Agent 47 Orange. What is wrong with you, man? <laughs> okay, so no ideas brought. You do your own thing. I love this shirt. It's fucking sexy. The Yeah, so the charcoal one is the one that's on the website. <laughs> I like how you go, feel that shirt. You don't like it, right? I was like, nah, it feels like someone did it in their backyard. And you went, <laughs> 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 Yeah, that's not hurtful at all. Wait, was it hurtful? No. It's not hurtful. No. You even, you even told me. It's okay if I say it. <laughs> I mean, I'm still going to wear the shit out of it, so fuck it. Well, this why I said inside out the first time. Both of them. I don't know how that works. Dude, this is fucking sick. That looks cool as fuck, though, right? Yes. I really like that. That's my favorite shirt that I've made so far. I've made a bunch of shirts. There's another podcast that... Um, uh, is this medium, like I asked? Yeah. Okay. Cool. There's, there's another podcast. It's a it's on the the Smodcast Network. It's called the Nooner Podcast. Oh, I've heard of them. This morning show. They right? mentioned uh, finding sex before. Yeah, that's them. Well, they uh, I make there's a shirt on my website that's um, it's, it's a, for them. It's them. Yeah, it's their shirt. Now, did you do something with with um, the other guy that we discussed? Brian, Brian Maxwell. No, the other guy. Adam Carolla. Um, yeah, I made. Remember, I cho- I told told you about those shirts. You, you, you told me about it, but those you uh, Lamborghinis, me. right? Well, I made him five shirts, one for each Lamborghini, and um, my wife and I went to go see him last month. In was that last month? No, it was this month. It was like on the fifth or something in Austin. And um, is it still recording or no? No, it is. Oh. It's just. It's just a crystal clear, beautiful it's screen. It's the most beautiful screen I've ever seen in my Looks life. Brand new, yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, uh, I know a guy over there at the Corolla Studios, and he got us backstage. Shut up, really? Yeah, and I got to hand, I got to give those shirts that I made to Adam. So how come I wasn't invited? Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> You're all, I know. But, um... Yeah, I guess I'm not going to end up making those shirts for Adam because... Uh, he said no, no well, ombre. He said that's a couple of bad ombres. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, ah, oh, thanks. And then um, a couple of times on Twitter, I've brought it up and he's just like, yeah, man, thanks. <laughs> like he, And I talked to his, age, to his manager and at first his manager was like, cool, do it. And then like two days later, his manager was like, yeah, Adam doesn't want to do that, so fucking forget it. I mean, they're fucking Lamborghinis, but... Yeah, but they were his pictures, and they were his cars. You know what so I mean? So he's probably sad about it? No, he's not sad about it. He just doesn't want to do it. I don't know why. It just doesn't sound like something he wants Would to do. Would you want a picture of your rear-ended car? <laughs> yeah, but, but those Lamborghinis are beautiful. And he's selling them, so I just thought it'd be something... So he still hasn't sold them yet? He sold one of them. Well, that... At the show, I asked him, I said, have you sold any one of these yet? And he pointed to the shirt. He was like, I sold that one. <laughs> but. Um, so were you, were you shitting and pissing yourself? And what was Sean doing? when? Oh, we were in the second row for the show. Was it a live taping? It was a, yeah, it was a live podcast. It was, it was him and Bald and Gina. And um, Dawson was there. 
You know, you're all, hey, do you remember me? And he, he did. And I took a, he, we took a picture together, and I got a picture with Adam, and um, and Gary was super fucking cool about everything. Uh, no, it was cool. I had a good time. It was a long fucking drive, but I'm glad you had a great time. With that. Oh man, I had a blast. That's great. Oh man, it was That's so nice. cool. Hey, That's I nice. should tell you about it. You should tell me more about it. I'm about to. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> what else is going on? Oh, the, okay, so... Uh, you keep saying queso. Are you hungry? Yes, I am, actually. You know what? I, I, I made some chili. It's fucking... It dropped down, believe it or not, it dropped down to 72 degrees. <laughs> and I'm fucking <laughs> freezing, okay? Hey, did it freeze here the other night? Uh, it got down to 38. I mean, it's not freezing. Well, it was if, pretty funny. It froze at my house. Did it really? Uh-huh. Yeah, like ice on the windshield, ice on the front yard, ice on the backyard. Oh, shit. Like, get fucking no, it, at my house. It, we live just a few more miles apart. But, I guess. Um, I guess I got the... I don't know what you call it. Anyway. But no, it didn't freeze. It got close. But anyway, so... Queso. Ugh, want some queso. My do- I, heard, I overheard my daughter. She's... She's eight years old now, right? Don't fucking ask me, man. She, yeah, she's eight years I'm, old. I, I'm always wrong when I tell somebody how old I am. <laughs> You're all, yeah, I'm a young, I'm sprightly, I'm 38. I'm like, so, and Sean's all, um, <clears throat> You're uh, she's 40. Like, <coughs> she's <coughs> 48. 48. 48. And I'm like, wait a minute, what? You're like, no. And then I have to break out a calculator. And then, and and then you're all, yeah, that's how that goes. <laughs> Don't you tell me nothing, woman. And a backhander. Yeah, and then she beats the Chevy and then you die. I wish you were here, Steve. Um, I overheard my daughter uh, on a conversation. She was FaceTiming one of her friends. And then they were discussing. Eight-year-olds have the weirdest conversations. It's just so silly. They're like, oh, yeah, I got a pencil that has a uh, a cool uh, eraser on it with a heart on it. It's just the weirdest fucking conversation. Anyway, and so... She said something about she used to have her own uh, hamster. We had a hamster, and it was placed on top of. You had a hamster? <laughs> yeah. Here? Yeah. And so it, it was placed on top of of our washer dryer just because we didn't know where to put it. If you put it in my daughter's room, it, it stunk it up. Like I would have to clean the fucking thing every day, every other day, or else it would start smelling like the chips and wood and shit. You know what I mean, so if the fabric softener and everything's going on in the washroom, it worked out perfectly. And so she, it, no one fed it, you know, for probably, I don't know, like three or four days or something like that. So you were too busy cleaning out its cage to feed it? Right. Right, so I didn't feed it. Uh, I'll put the blame on myself, okay? I didn't. I PETA, know. if you're listening. Uh, his name is Alejandro. I mishandled the a dwarf hamster. Uh, his name was fuck, I don't even know his name. We had dwarf rabbits for my kids. Did you? Yeah, they were fucking assholes. Did they hiss at you? Oh man, one time uh, Sean was blow drying her hair, and this thing. I guess the noise. And it jumped good. inside of the blow dryer. No, no, it was in its it was in its, it was in its cage. <laughs> but I guess the noise from a blow dryer, like. Fucking scared or something because it screamed like a woman. Was it from Melmac? <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> we had two of them one for Blaine, one for Sally. And Blaine's was like mean, like it would try and it would try and fuck everybody. Well, not everybody, but the other. How was that mean? He's just a lover. Yeah, they were boys. <laughs> 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 they were both boys. Wait, how did you know? How, so uh, you saw his little thumper? Well, no. The people who gave it to us were like, oh, yeah, these are boys. Oh, so you didn't inspect? It's like trying to decide if a cat's a boy or a girl. I don't fucking know. I wait, how tell. do you know? They don't have... Wait. Unless they're a lion, you can't fucking tell. <laughs> Whoa. Wait. What? I don't know. I have okay. no idea. I don't know. Anyway. My dog's a boy, and I mean, my cat's a boy, and I can't tell. It, it purrs like a pansy. <laughs> So, she, it ended up dying. Like, I went to go feed it. I go ask my wife. I said, hey, Sarah, did you uh, feed feed the 
whatever said, they said hamster's name. <laughs> <laughs> I, I completely forgot its name. Um, hey, and, did you feed Shrampster? <laughs> yeah, sh- sh- <laughs> And she was like, "Ah, hamster, shrimpster, <laughs> fuck that thing." You know, the other day, like we always, we always mention Redster. She said, "I sampled your chili, and it's lovely." She said it's disgusting, which means it's fucking delightful. Would you care for some? No, thanks. No. Would Sean want? <laughs> no, because there's meat in it, right? No, that's what she said. I've been watching a lot of The Office. So that's all. <laughs> That's all they Sean, say. Sean's not much of a meat But eater. it's turkey. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You put turkey in yours too? Yeah. That's pretty cool. I'm a, I'm a gangster like that. Sean, Sean's mom does that. It's fucking delicious. I love turkey. Yeah, it's good. You don't want any? No. I told you I ate already. Anyway. No, the hamster I died. The, sham, the shamster here. died. Okay? And then there were... Sh- shramster. Shramster. They, they died. And so they were discussing... Like, I have a hamster, I have a hamster. And then my daughter goes, I, I had a hamster, but we d- we just told her that it escaped. Like, we just, I don't know, sweetheart. It, it escaped just, to heaven. It's <laughs> 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 so, like, we don't know what happened. It just got out of its cage. It just left. And then she she was telling her friend, and she goes, I don't know, yeah, my, my hamster died, my shramster died. And, uh, I, but it was weird because, like, the, the cage door was closed. It wasn't in there, but my mom and dad said it was. It escaped. I'd be like, "Yep, Santa did it." Sa- yeah. <laughs> and then just, just like <clears throat> that today, creepy fucker just, gets in and out. Just two all days over ago, my, my wife said, "I explained to her that uh, it, it did die." So I'm off the hook. I don't have to keep saying. I don't, like maybe we'll find the hamster up here because everywhere I would go, she'd be like. It would go upstairs. How long or, ago was this? <laughs> this was like eight months ago, nine months ago. Oh my so gosh, where'd she go? That's do you think? Do you think Shramster is here? I'm like, maybe. <laughs> I'm not saying it's not here. Yeah, it's not not here. You know what I mean? So anything's possible, babe. Keep hope alive. Perhaps. <laughs> perhaps. <laughs> Keep hope alive. Uh, so yeah. I, but it was just it was just funny as shit listening to her. She's just like, my hamster escaped. Mine didn't die, it's, but it was weird because the, the door was closed. I had, to, I had I was courteous enough to close it. I didn't think the whole scam through. You know what I mean? What an asshole! Is that Connor Oberst? Yeah, that's correct. He was on um, like Jimmy yeah, Kimmel. It's, or it's not even Bright Eyes. It's just Connor Oberst. He was on like. Jimmy Kimmel or something. Kimmy Jimmel? Yeah. Like, I don't watch it, but you know how they have the little previews. Why, do you, why don't you like Kimmy Jimmel? I don't watch any. Because I go to sleep at 8 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> Thank so where, where, are you having, where are you having Thanksgiving at? Luby's? Yeah. <laughs> Chinese restaurant. I'm sorry. Okay, I gotta stop. How did it dry so fast? Because it's not screen printed. It's printed from a printer. And then I have this... Big old iron. press. It's like, it's heat and um, pressure. So, are we going to do a meth lab? Wait, <laughs> I actually can talk about that on here. What? Huh? Well, you said math, right? Yeah, math. Like yeah, the math. math lab. What's up? Are you good at math? Do you do math? Did you say math or math? I'm really good at math. <laughs> <laughs> when I was in fifth grade or sixth grade. Um, well, they do the times tables. We had a student teacher who was student teaching. Right. And he was, I guess, still in college. Yes. But he, he was interning or whatever it was. And um, he was teaching me algebra. With this, <laughs> oh my god, that's good. <laughs> Steve, oh, that's fantastic. Steve said he was teaching algebra, and then I gave him like 
he was getting fucked, son. <laughs> you know, I've but never, a, seen, but I've never seen anybody do that that wasn't Mexican. Yeah, yeah uh, Mexicans. Like only Mexicans do. Only like they're Mexicans. honking, honking the yeah, horn. Yeah, like they're honking the horn with the, with, the, with the fingers all bent like a monkey claw, just honking the horn. <laughs> yes. I've never seen anybody who wasn't Mexican do that. That's fantastic. <laughs> that's like the that's like the universal sign. Oh, that was. <laughs> He was uh, teaching me the algebra. Mm-hmm. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Hong Kong. <laughs> so yeah, I used to be good at math. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my wife says I need more practice. But we're still, whatever. We're still saying math, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why are you missing all your teeth? Oh, that was funny, dude. <laughs> good stuff. You're okay, Steve. I'll, I'll give you the alert. I was checking for a text. So, um, oh, well, math me all the hell. Fuck <laughs> <up>. <laughs> yeah, you were just like drinking your beer, minding your business. You're like, eh. <laughs> so you told me it's very algebra. subtle. <laughs> very subtle. Okay, so what about this guy that teach you the algebras, the art of the algebra, Com- comma algebra? <laughs> well, that was it. <laughs> 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 so I used to be good at math. Like I was, doing, I was doing college algebra in sixth grade. Is my point. Were you? Yeah. So then, what happened? Have you met Blaine? <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, he didn't happen. Well, I mean, he happened, but but that was until way later. So you can't blame him. Right. Well, that was in sixth grade. Yeah, it was like an, another year later or something. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm real young, dude. What? Does that explain why you're wearing a hoodie? Hoodie. Wait, do you like hoodie and the blowfish? Who doesn't? Right? You mean, you mean Darius Rucker and the I don't live with a you. Oh my god, I only want to go with you too. All right, okay, cool. Um, yeah, dude, what's up? So, I know everybody's pissed about the whole... I mean, I don't want to bring it up. You I don't what? want to bring it up. I don't want to this bring it up. This is kind of funny because I've been hearing so much about the election from both sides. Both sides fucking shouting to the heavens that everybody's an asshole, right? Right. Just nonstop. Both oh, you're sides. talking about the, that. I'm talking about my... Because I started growing facial hair. I was doing the no November. No, no, no. you weren't. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you don't qualify, uh, sir. You, you might have been doing no mo 2016, <laughs> but... Uh, no, so does it not look good? Is nope, it not, nope, nope. I need to just nope. cut it all off? No, you are the reason that people get stopped and frisked. Oh, yeah. am I? That's a cholo. Hey, are you watching uh, Lethal Weapon, the TV show? No. It's fucking awesome. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> Briggs, right? Yeah, Riggs and Murtaugh. Oh, man. I said Briggs, it's Riggs. It's good. I like it a lot. Um, well, maybe I won't check it out. I mean... What, you like it? Yeah, I'm not watching it. <laughs> yeah. This Is Us is really good, too. I'm a, I watched the first two episodes, and then I got into the halfway to the third, and I was all, oh. oh this Is Us? Yeah. Yeah, there's no Mexicans in it. You won't like it. Yeah. There's there a Mexican on uh, uh, Lethal Weapon. All right, well, I'm all in. You know what I mean? He was I a, he's a former gangbanger. Oh, my gosh. He's all tatted up, dude, like fucking 21 Pilot style. Funny. And now he's a cop. I don't have. He's the most Jackson. annoying person I've ever seen on television. Because he's Mexican? Not because he's Mexican. Just happens to be Mexican. Anyway, so I've been hearing so much shit from both sides, you know, because I, I listen to podcasts and then whenever Sean's home, we just listen to NPR like, like fucking all day. Dude, I've, I've shut all that shit off. Like, yeah. I, I don't listen to any of that. So now lately, what I've been listening to, because, uh, because I don't understand anything everybody's saying anyway because everybody's shouting over each other and fucking being assholes and everybody's lying about everything always. Uh, remember when I went to France and I was listening to... I, Gibberish? I was, yeah. yeah. So one of those songs that was on that that tape, that, that mixtape I made you, or two of them, I had to actually buy the whole album because I couldn't just get the song. I had to buy the album from France and have it brought over. Anyway... I've just been listening to one of those albums by one of those. It's called KYO. It's the name of the band. Just been listening to that whole album. That's all I've been listening to. I don't understand anything they're saying. And you know, it's beautiful. It's way, way cooler than listening to any of these other assholes talk about either side. 
don't know. I don't. I don't really care. <clears throat> I, I, I just. Why not? I, I just. I just. Aren't you it. terrified? That's what I should be. I mean, I was. I, I'm going to be honest. I wasn't happy about it. I mean, when I woke up in the morning, I was like, "This, this is." Not. Were you surprised when you woke up? Yeah, I was like, "This is not." You woke up. You were like Brexit. This this isn't true, but you know I, I was you know I was pretty upset that day. Like I was just like this is fucking stupid. Like what? Like are we really doing this? But then after I thought about it, I was like, well, I mean, he hasn't done anything to me personally. He hasn't really done anything yet. So I mean, like I just gotta look at it like like it's a a, a quarterback thing, like a football thing. Like I mean, that's my quarterback. You know, I just gotta. Gotta live with it. It's gonna be my quarterback. So well, he's gonna lead the team and lead this. I did not vote for this fool. I was super surprised. I haven't. I haven't. I don't think I've ever. I've never voted before. Did you vote this time? Yeah, I did. I voted. There's this a time. shirt. One of one of the shirts on my website is that. I don't, some some people got different. I voted stickers. The ones we got had like the presidential seal with the eagle and everything on it. Oh, I did it. I you got didn't like, get that one. No, and I went to right here, right here at the Fair Oaks. Well, the one <coughs> we got like had the presidential seal with the eagle and everything, and it says I voted. And um, mine just had a flag. So, so I, I made a T-shirt that it's that it's that sticker. Did it say I farted? It says I voted, so I can complain. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it comes in red or blue. Okay. <laughs> Just whatever state you're in. <laughs> whatever, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but no, I was I was super surprised. But then, like, I've been... Because, I mean, it's, I guess it's been two weeks or whatever. And I've been thinking about it and... You know I mean? I, I hated it. Like, I, I didn't like that, you know... I mean, I didn't like that this guy was throwing all the bad hombres and doing all that shit like out in public and stuff like that I'm very careless about it but whatever man I mean what the fuck can I do right especially now so um nothing really anyone can do I think that the reason everybody was surprised is because all the polls were wrong you know because all you were hearing was you know even up to the day before like Hillary's well even Hillary's even that even dude. that lady even said I'm still gonna be good friends. I'm still gonna have him invite him into. He said some. She said something like that. Ooh, like, what lady? The lady, Hillary Clinton, mm-hmm. the pantsuit lady. <laughs> said what? She still be friends with him? That she like she was confident that she was gonna take the whole damn thing, but that she was still gonna like, you know, She's listen like, to after his. After I wipe the flow with this dude. I'm well, still. I mean, we're still cool. Yeah, but like we're. I'm still gonna listen to what he has to say, and if he has issues, you know, I'm gonna listen to him. And, you know, I mean, I'm not gonna be a complete asshole. Like, like that's what it made it seem like. But then, I mean, I don't. Even, I mean, I was watching all the shit. I was up to like one o'clock. One. I must have fallen asleep probably 20 minutes before the fucking final call went because I was literally on the couch at like one fifteen, one o'clock, and I was like, this is. Getting fucking annoying. I'm tired of watching uh, Rachel Maddow and and um, Brian Williams and and George Stephanopoulos. Like I, I'm tired of watching all these people, and I was just like, I'm tired of fucking hearing this guy talk. I'm tired of hearing this fucking lady go around her fucking like. It was just fucking sickening. Like it's just it's disgusting. Like just own up to your shit and just fucking do it. You she probably if she would have said. Exactly what she did, or you know what I mean. She probably could have won the whole fucking thing, but making you a shady person and not being fucking upfront about shit is probably gonna obviously it fucked her up. Yeah, but probably I don't care. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. I mean, it's not gonna affect you. Even as a Mexican, <clears throat> it's not gonna affect you. I mean, it's easy for me to say because I'm just a fucking fat white kid, but it's not gonna affect you either. Yeah, I don't, I don't think so. I talked to Daryl. What did he say? He said... Wait, is it Daryl or Darrell? Darrell. Okay. I talked to Darrell, and he was like, I mean, I didn't vote for him, but maybe, just maybe, maybe he's going to be all right. 
That's what I'm saying. Like, and this was the next day. <laughs> <clears throat> but everybody's been fucking going buck wild. And the whole uh, that, that that play that you went to go see, the Hamilton thing. Uh-huh. Uh, my uh, Vice President Pence was there, and the the people in the play of Hamilton play started mocking Pence and Trump and doing all this shit during like in, during their play like they're in their set like how how professional is that uh, and while while he was in the fucking crowd you know what I mean yeah um I think nobody has been professional in any of it nobody I mean, they, they, nobody. Please, fucking. Everybody's being an asshole on both sides. And you know what's funny is everybody is throwing a fit because um, I guess Hillary won the popular vote. Oh, did she? Yeah. I I, I stopped. Like she I said, had I, more. She had more votes from Americans, but he had more electoral votes. Hmm. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. She had like a million more votes. Oh shit. And so everybody was like, what the fuck? This is ridiculous. But in 2008, for the de- Democratic primary, Hillary had more votes than Barack Obama, and he still won the, the nomination. Nobody said shit back then. <laughs> so they just didn't want like, a woman to be? I don't know, man. But So my, my daughter said it best. Like She's just like, if everybody's so fucking pissed off about... Your daughter said this? My older daughter, yeah. Oh, okay. I was Bl- like, Blaine's like, hey, why is she using Blaine's why is she dropping age. the F-bombs? She's Blaine's age. And she's like, if everybody's so pissed, I mean, it made sense. If everybody's so pissed off, then shouldn't you have fucking done something at, like during the primaries? Like, you can vote for primaries, right? Yeah, you can vote. Yeah. So, if you really wanted to fucking say, people like me or, did you vote during primaries? He did? Yeah, I voted for Jeb Bush, and the very next day, he dropped out. (laughs) 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 Very next day. Uh, It was awesome. But I'm just saying, like, that that's... People can do that. Like, you can technically decide who's going to go up and run. I mean, it's not... I mean, everybody knows that, but people just... Lazy to do it? I don't know. Well, I think that part of part of the reason that the polls were all wrong is because um, way early in the whole thing, uh, the media, I guess, and I guess Hillary, well, I guess fucking everybody, everybody just decided that if you were a Trump person, then you were just automatically a fucking Nazi. Racist, yeah. And so... Is that what you are? Well, no, I didn't. I didn't vote for him, so... Wait, I get, I'm Yay, not racist anymore. Dude, that is so awesome. Yeah, Good yeah. job. But I voted for him. So what does that make me? <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> a self-hating Mexican. <laughs> but it's that Dave Chappelle, the fucking blind Nazi guy. I love that. That blind racist. <laughs> no, um, but seriously, I didn't vote for him. But, uh, so, if they, a year ago, decided that everybody who supported Trump was a, a straight-up racist, then... Oh, and a sexist and a homophobe and everything else, then why would those people answer honestly to a poll question? You know what I mean? Like, if I, hey, huh, so who, who do you think you're going to vote for? Well, why would I tell you the truth? If I'm voting for that guy and I tell you that, then you're automatically going to brand me a, a racist and a homophobe and a, homo- and a sexist. Right. So why would those polls be right? Because, I mean, there's only one right answer or you're an asshole. So there's people that have the, the signs out in their front yard? Yeah, those... Uh, those, those are... Uh, like, so uh, when you drive by them, what do you think? Like, wow. I think... Huh, that's pretty brave. That's not a choice I would have made. But if you want to clean eggs off your house, that's your business. <laughs> Cause there's a guy right down the street that has like the guy right across the street from me has one. Not the guy. Oh, not, the guy that guy. fucking not called that me. Guy. Oh, not okay. that guy. Across from him, um, and on Halloween, there was teenagers 
were going around trick or treating or whatever. And when they got to that house, they would lay down in the front yard next to that sign and take selfies with it. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yes. <laughs> It was hilarious. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know, man. It's just all super surprising. I think everybody's just tired of the shit. I mean, I, I, I mean, racism is kind of funny. Well, well, stereotyping is funny. Stereotyping is funny, but I mean, but racism is like the. But hate I mean, we just had a black president for eight years, and all of a sudden, we're the most racist we've ever been in history. Like, how does that work? We all voted for that guy. Well, I didn't vote because I wasn't in between. I didn't vote for him the first time, but I voted for him the second time because I thought he did a good job the first time. But, I don't know. Fuck it. Who cares? It's all bullshit. I tweeted at Donald Trump and I was like, hey, uh, you got a lot of positions to fill. Do you want me to fill I'm available. Let me push it in your stool. <laughs> <laughs> I said, hey, uh, if you're looking for a... Uh, if you're looking for a window washer with a GED <laughs> in South Texas... Uh, I'll take, like, I can be, I'll take I, a cabinet position. That's fine. <laughs> as long as I don't have to move. <laughs> well, Which that, I guess is what his what wife was that, said. What was that guy's name that that was big on uh, Obama's when he was running? Like he would call him like the plumber, Joe the plumber or whatever the fuck. Oh, yeah. Joe, Joe plumber. Is that what his name was? Yeah, I think it was Joe the plumber. Okay, so you'd be Steve the window washer. That would be fucking awesome. That would be awesome. Yeah, I'd be a, I'm not going to watch the windows of Trump Towers or nothing. Or even... 1600 pin, man, fuck them. I'm man. sure you I'm sure would, dog. Uh, I think it's funny that his wife and kid are not moving. Were they, are they staying in New York? Yeah. Well, it's either in New York City or in fucking Washington, D.C. Which one would you pick? The White House. <laughs> oh, okay. That's probably the Absolutely safest place. The White House. Right? The White House. I would absolutely pick the White House. You think House. that place is haunted? I think that place is, like, take a black light to that motherfucking place. Gross. Everybody talks about taking a black light to hotel rooms. Uh, that place has been there for 100, 200 years. Uh, just take a black light to that place. With the Kennedys hanging out there. Yeah, that place is covered in semen. Asbestos? Oh. Oh, uh, no, semen. Oh, okay. I was thinking, like... Health wise, you're thinking of ejaculation wise. Yeah, um, yeah, I'm always thinking that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, are you gonna finish that donut? <laughs> <laughs> so what's up with you, man? Uh, you know, um, I don't know. I don't know what that number is. Um, I've been trying to. Work on uh, music, like a xylophone. I've been really into, um, you know, like a, you know, like the the washer thing. You can do like a, use a spoon. It's like oh, like my abs. Yeah. Who's who's your abs? A- abs. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so a washboard. Yeah, yeah. I I use like a washboard. And you play um, the spoons also? Yeah, and then I've been trying to like perfect the, um, the art of uh, chut- chutney. Is that what it's called? Chut- Probably not. Chut- chutney. It's a, it's a food. Well, it might be chutney. <laughs> tell me, tell me more about it. <laughs> um, no, I'm just kidding. No, uh, I, I've, I've really just been fucking working and re- really working on music. That's all I've been doing. I mean, it's... Yeah, I'm terrible at music. It's been I'm taking pretty, a writing class. It's been pretty fucking boring. Are you really? Yeah. Where at? Uh, one of the one of my writer friends, um, he teaches for... He teaches online for Harvard and Stanford. So I'm taking a class. Stanford with. or Stamford? <laughs> 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 There's a difference. Uh, Stanford. Yeah, he teaches for Harvard and Stanford online, so I've been taking a class with him. So what are you what are you thinking of writing? Like scripts and shit? Well, when I mm-hmm. approached him about it, I really just wanted to improve my writing. That's all. Like 
no no particular goal other than to be better. Um, sure, why not? I still have that thing. Your finger drums? <laughs> <laughs> that was me typing. I still have that thing where I smack my fingers on the desk for a while. Um, no, I've been playing drums. I've been playing guitar. I've been playing a bunch of Gears of War. A I, bunch of Gears of War. Uh, I even, I'm, I fucking nerded out and even bought these like surround sound wireless fucking 7.1 digital Adobe, whatever the fuck. Turtle Beach. I don't know if you know what Turtle Beach is. It's a brand of headphones. And they're sitting right there and they're really expensive. And they're fucking amazing. So I brought my TV here into my office. It's nothing fancy, but this is this is the fanciest TV I ever purchased in my life. The first time. That's um. I got that's I, nicer than any TV in my house. I bought that in in, uh, in um, North Carolina when I was living in Charlotte. Char Charlotte. Uh, Charlotte. And uh, what did I say? Dude, I Charlotte. fucking love that shirt. Right? Isn't it fucking sick? I put the shirt on. I mean, not. I mean, it looks fucking sick. Mm. That shirt's really cool. I love it. I like it. I think I'm going to have to start wearing it. I'm going to make one for myself. Why wouldn't you wear one? You got represent, son. Do I? Yeah. Well, then I'll have to. Yeah, I mean... What's really cool is that since I, you know, wash windows and I wear an undershirt when I wash windows, uh, all the mistakes are my undershirts. <laughs> are your what? All my mistake shirts. All the ones I mess up. Uh-huh. Yeah. Cool. I got another undershirt to sweat through. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Like if I mess a shirt up, I don't throw it away. I just wear it as an undershirt. Can you give me some mess ups? No. That would be easier. That's okay. Yeah, well, like it. That's awesome. But pretty kind of late. Steve, can we not wait so long next time? Two weeks? I have some new shit. Well, we're going to be together next week. We can record a week from tomorrow. Let's do it. Hey, anybody who wants to come out, we're going to be at Jack's Bar on uh, Thousand Oaks and right. Jones Maltzberger uh, on the 30th of November. There's a concert there that is the Vagabonds. And, uh, is it Vagabonds or Vagabonds? It's Vagabonds. Oh, okay. And uh, special guest Loxie, which is Chris Loxamana, which is one of the, he's one of the producers on the Adam Carolla uh, Network. Oh, yeah. He has a band. And um, they're pretty cool. There's going to be comedians and fucking... There's not going to be any Mangria, I don't think. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, but it's going to be a good time. We're going to be there. On, that's on the 30th of November. So, all five of you, yeah. come on out. Hey, both of y'all, come on out. Uh, we'll probably both be wearing Finding Stacks t-shirts. <laughs> and I'm uh, going to be wearing this shirt. If you come up to either one of us... The Mexican or the white guy, and say that you listen to Finding Stacks, you'll recognize this because we're wearing that shirt. Uh, if you say you listen to Finding Stacks, uh, the white guy will buy you a beer. And maybe the Mexican will leave the uh, tip. Boom. <laughs> 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 <laughs>